Hi, this is me again. Um, sorry for the environment, but uh, I'm trying to do something really difficult. Uh, I was told by the custom support that uh, what I'm trying to do, it's, in, it's impossible. So I'm trying the impossible. Um, and what I'm doing is this. Uh, I have this uh, instant heater, water heater. Uh, made by uh, Takaji TM1 and what happened is that it stopped working and uh, being uh, helped by the customer support I was able to identify a fuse which is gone has blown and what the fuse is actually it's a wire it looks like a wire and it goes all around the burner it's like a protection for the burner and what they say is that you have to remove the whole thing which is extremely difficult to remove this whole thing out of here plus all the connections here water and gas and everything you have to remove them all in order to put this fuse back well I'm sorry I'm sorry my Japanese friends but this is a really dumb design I mean what I'm not a designer a mechanical designer but I'm seeing so many ways that was uh, that would, they could do it they could design it to avoid this and I'm gonna try to fix that doing it my own way without removing it and uh, uh, what I got so far is this is the fuse that needs to be pulled off first it goes all around this burner and the fuse has to be pulled off I try to pull it off but you know what, it got stuck in the back, somewhere there in the back, and you don't have access. It was really closed. And what I was thinking, and uh, what I'm gonna try to do, is cut the back part over here of this uh, ch uh, chassis, and make like a door, an access door here and work in the back of the burner and then put the thing back with some screws and hold it they could they could do it they could make it in the design they could install here a door open the door and work on the burner or fuse or whatever you have to work and then close it back when you're done but they did not so uh, yeah that's what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna stop the video and just uh, continue uh, while I'm advancing if this video is on YouTube it means I succeeded somehow so uh, yeah let me see if I'll, if I'll be able to do that um, the other option would be eventually to employ a, a, a professional to do that to install this wire this fuse but uh, the closest one is uh, booked for the whole month So I'll have to stay with no heat no water no uh, hot water for a month Just order for him to wait for him. I cannot do that. I'll try doing this myself So yeah, I'll be back in a bit Stay close Our stop our start doing is uh, drilling a hole here in the back and then maybe drilling more to make a start to create an access for my uh, cutter to put the cutter in and start cutting down yeah I don't have all the tools you know a professional would have to do this so uh, I'll go there with the holes, a few holes in line, and then I'll put the cutter through, the metal cutter. I'll start cutting down, and then like a U shape, 
to create a door I'm gonna uh, pull that door backward and uh, try to have access in the back of the burner I'll do some holes here at the top and then I was able to put a cutter in and just cut down into the material yeah so here is the back you know what I'm trying to do cut this way and this way and then open this and get access in the back okay back in a bit pretty extreme what I did but yeah I was able to cut my cutter and I'll cut, cut the back plate and now uh, I'll just have to pull it down and remove somehow deal with this this small fire plate okay I am back again again so it is what I got so far uh, cutting a like the door in the back and then opening this and then cutting this piece and then getting access to the wires in the back yay uh, yeah so I'm gonna guess I'm guess guessing that I'm gonna change the fuse put a new one in and then close everything back and maybe get another piece of steel and put it on top of the cut covering everything you know I'm in the attic I don't know if I mentioned this and it's a hell of a job but if you are cautious not to cut anything here not to touch your wiring your tubing anything else just the matter itself then uh, yeah like I did I think I succeeded and I'll be able now to change the fuse okay you can see I was able, was able to put the new fuse in it's all nice and dandy so now I'm gonna close it down and uh, you know close everything like so and see how it's gonna look I'll be back uh, like I said I'm planning of getting a piece of retarded flame retarded uh, material covered by uh, another piece of uh, metal and put it over cover all this all the back and you know put a few like four screws in corner and covered all this hole okay now let's try it get the other side and see if it's still working I have to put the, the panel back which was held by two screws and then uh, we'll fire up looks like it's working it's working everything fine the fan you can see the flame inside yeah well they turn it off too soon okay but yeah it's working so that was it in your face Takagi I did it without removing the whole things off which I think for working in here would be a nightmare anyway thank you for watching